All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are in SnowRunner, and after the semi dismal uh, job that the P16 did and its uh, ability of, of getting stuck, we are going to attempt the P12 just to kind of bring back some of these older trucks and try to give them a. Uh, a new uh, lease on life. So let's go ahead and throw in the Westline V12 M900. Uh, we're going to go with the event special. Seems like it makes the most amount of sense. Now we are stuck with stock suspension. So uh, pretty much means that we are only going to have 57 inch tires. And I'm not going to lie, I think I'm going to go chained. I'm going to go chained, but I'm going to do dualies. So yeah, I think this is, I think this is the best. We're going to try it. See what happens. That's all we can do. Uh, we're going to do the advanced heavy. Uh, spare wheels. I think we can go. Let's, let's go ahead and throw them on. I believe we shouldn't have, yeah, we shouldn't have an issue there. We'll do the log, uh, long log carrier. And we can throw on the crane. So if we do tip over, we don't have to start all over again. Uh, but that does lower us from an A minus to a B. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Why not? Uh, and there's not, I mean, there's all these other, uh, add-ons, but yeah, obviously we can't, we can't use any of them. So, uh, although this looks like a pretty decent add-on, get a little spare parts, 450 spare parts, four spare wheels and 67 gallons of fuel. You do lose your two spare wheels though. So, but they're kind of, you get an extra two. <laughs> Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, let's look at the uh, add-ons that we can do here. I'm still kind of liking the original. Uh, it would be nice if I could get some more headlights. We'll see if we can do that. Never, I can never have enough headlights. So uh, I think I'm going to go with these. Exhaust. Oh yeah. Ooh. I don't know that that uh, that's not too bad. I don't know if I like them dog-eared to the like outside. I kind of like them rolling back. Uh, these things just look like snorkels, but put on backwards. So, <laughs> uh, and then stock is is down there somewhere. So. I'm going to have to make a quick decision and I'm going to go with these ones. It's, like, it's actually against my gut. Those are kind of my gut. But I, I like the bigger girth of these ones. So anyways, rims, not overly important. Uh, but let's go with these ones since we paid for them. And if you know, you know, uh, because yeah, I bought the uh, jack of all tires. So we might as well use those. And I'm thinking red. I'm thinking red to match the the cab of the uh, log crane. I mean, there's a lot of different ones we could pick from. Was there a red and black? Yeah, there's this red and black, which isn't really red and black because the hood's not black. I guess your stripes are black. I don't. Yeah. Eh, anyways. Uh, and that's black on black. That doesn't look too bad either. Uh, I kind of want that white hood to be black. Ah, crap. Now I'm picking. I'm taking too long. OK, let's just go with this one. Uh, was there anything else? Nothing. 
nothing of super importance. Uh, but we did get... Yes, we have all-wheel drive and we have our diff lock, so... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and leave the garage. And, uh... I think I'm gonna skip to morning. And, uh, yeah, let's see what this bad boy can do. Is it gonna be better than the P16? I think it will be. Uh, in real life, is it? Probably not, because the, uh... The P16 is, is literally made for logging, so it's... It's definitely a bespoke logging. Um, so there's the difference between this truck and the, uh, P16 with just all-wheel drive. Or with, uh, just the diff lock on. But, I think we're good once we, uh, kick on the all-wheel drive. Especially once we start, uh, building up some momentum. Oh, and then we'll just kind of gingerly go over. Well, that's not a great start. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? Uh, I just I just saw a, a fatal flaw in our design. Yeah, the uh, the bumper is way too low. Uh, let's see, where is it? It is under stock bumper. Uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna rock this one. Uh, so now we're gonna have all oh, eight lights, plus I uh, geez I guess twelve lights. Yeah, this should uh this should be good. All right, let's let's try that again. A uh, little embarrassing, especially if you're a fan of the P12. Uh, <laughs> nothing I can really do about that though, except uh, well pretty much do what I did. And uh, change the front end, front end there. So this does make me a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like we have a lot of other trucks that are way more capable about uh, getting through the snow here. But you know what? We're gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of faith in this thing and and hope that it can uh, it can handle it. That was much much better to get over those rocks. Um, yeah, I guess, guess what guys? There was one other thing I forgot to grab. Or is it here? You know what? We are going to pick it up from here. Yeah, we don't, we don't need to buy another one. We'll just pick it up. And I'm thinking we go. I don't think it really matters. We'll just go. We'll stay to the left. We'll go around. We'll pick up some fuel. We won't need much of it, but uh, we will still grab the fuel. If I remember correctly, these trucks are kind of. Uh, heavy in fuel so they uh, they tend to they tend to drink a lot so they're very thirsty hmm so I actually save fuel by having all-wheel drive on good to know 1.7, 1.6, 1 1.5. Uh, it doesn't really seem to make that big of a difference, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it on. That's gonna make the uh, the bigger difference. All right, where is our? There's our fuel tanker. So yeah, we didn't even get to go pick up logs. That was, uh, it's actually been 
quite some time since I've played. Uh, I think it's been probably four days now. I've I've had a pretty busy end of my week and a pretty busy, pretty busy weekend. So uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to play like I wanted to. Uh, I guess this is a real another test because I did not I did not realize this ice was gonna break. <laughs> I would have stuck a little closer to that ice, but uh, okay, we got out. That's a good sign. Probably due to the chain tires. Let's uh, refuel. Get our little bit of fuel. Um, and then where do we need to go from here? Kind of have to go left. Yeah, so why don't I mark this out a little bit nicer? Uh, we're gonna go up this way because we have chains. We should be able to do it. Shouldn't be any issues. Nope, should be nice and smooth. And I probably just jinxed my. There's there's no chance that this is gonna run smooth. Uh, where's the route they want me to go up? Yeah. It is definitely around this rock. There. It's so hard to see some of these trails sometimes. This is just absolutely uh, snowdrift. No, nope. let's go. No, nope. let's go in front of me. Yeah, it's probably. Gotta get through these drifts. Again, this isn't. This is more of a scout trail. There you go. I do have to say though, the durability of this truck is quite surprising. We haven't. Uh, we haven't actually taken any damage yet. So there's a plus. If you. Uh, we're debating about using this truck. You will uh, you will definitely know about the end of this episode whether or not to use this truck. Can the P12 beat the P16? Now normally I would I would say it's bigger brother the P16, but I'm not 100% sure if that's the way this works uh, with these trucks. It, it does kind of look that way. You remember the P16 has that kind of roof rack area, which I was kind of disappointed in the fact that you couldn't use that as a storage slot. Like it should be one slot. You should be able to put like a thing of spare parts up there or maybe some wood planks. Nothing too big, obviously, but definitely one spot. Uh, so I was a little, I was a little disappointed in that, that that wasn't uh, open for that, but. You know, I, I, I suppose it is what it is. Um, the developers, developers can't have everything. And I also can't have my way. Because <laughs> I'm not a developer. And even if I was, I'd probably still get vetoed. Actually, I've, I've thought about that. Um, I feel like I could be an excellent product tester, especially when it comes to apps, uh, because like I just I I, I kind of have that goal-oriented mind where it should work this way, and if it doesn't, it sucks. <laughs> and I'm I'm kind of getting that way with the. Uh, with the whole, uh, the, the new operating software for the iPhone. I'm, I'm almost at the point now where I want to, uh, revert back to OS 17 just because of the, mainly because of the inconveniences. Like there's been a lot of weird things that are going on. Like if I search on Google, the address of, you know, uh, a Chinese place takeout, right? 
and I'm in Google and I hit the link to say uh, directions, it then takes me to the app store to tell me that I need to download Google Maps even though I have it on my phone. And I've, I've uninstalled it, reinstalled it, so I know that I have the, the latest one and it still does it. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. But uh, there's a lot of other little things like that, like the the stupid thing about if you copy... Uh-oh. There's no... How is that not a winch point? Okay, it is. I was a little little confused there for a second, sorry. Uh, but... Uh, oh crap, what was I saying? Uh, the copy and paste function, like you... You copy, I don't know, a email out of somebody's text message. And then now it's asking you, do you want to allow the copy and paste? I'm like, yes, I held down the button to copy it. And then now that I've gone to this uh, app, it's now asking me if I want to copy and paste. So you hit allow and then you, it does something and then you still have to go back and copy and paste. So anyways, it's, um, I've got myself stuck because I'm, I'm too busy complaining about um, the new software. And the, the other major thing I just want to say before I stop my rant uh, is the uh, the the way the icons, when you move around the icons, how they don't automatically fill back in. Because if you accidentally move an icon and it shoots everything to the next page, you have to then move that one icon back onto your, say, your main page. And then every icon past that is now offset by one and it doesn't just automatically fill back in. I think that's so annoying. I get what what really they need to do, and maybe they did. Let me know if they did, because it would help me out a ton. Is uh can I turn that off and go back to the auto stack, I guess, feature? Because I mean like they're saying it's oh it's great, you can have four four apps on one page. And I'm like, why would you want that? Why would you ever want that? Unless it's full of widgets and other things. And including the widgets, as a side note, the calendar should be full screen widget. And that you can put that not on your main page, but one to the, I guess it would be the swipe, swipe to the right. No, to the left. Um, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's the one that where all your stock stuff is. And, uh, I mean, there's a mini calendar there but like your hours and your maps and I don't know I'm just ranting I'm gonna I'm gonna stop ranting now because I've I've gone off a cliff right now <laughs> and uh, yeah we're kind of stuck and we gotta figure out uh, figure out what we need to do so let's get this out of the way for one that should just easily easily get out of the way now Let's uh, change trucks. Let's focus on SnowRunner, right? Um, let's attach. Ooh. Let's attach there and then. Yeah, I think right there. That should do it. And then we can hook back up. Now the million dollar question is, is do I want to bring the ads off with us? I, th I think so. That was kind of the plan from the beginning with the P16. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll continue that with the P12. Now the only issue is, is I gotta, yeah, we're gonna have to drive forward and then back the ads off. All right, so let's stop the engine, change trucks. Now we should be good. Uh, start engine. Add winch. Boom. All right, now we're back to where we were a full episode ago. <laughs> uh, sorry about complaining about the iPhone. I just, I don't know. I, I, I'm getting to the age now where I don't like change. Like even with even with just computer opponents and things like that. Like I was watching a video on the new 
AMD 9, I think it's the 9950. It's supposed to be the X3Ds, basically, the, the next high-end level coming out. And the guy was just rat rattling off all these abbreviations, and I'm like, I don't understand any of them. And I'm just like, ugh. Alright, so we gotta go back and get logs now. Um, did I delete the logs? You know what? That was an oversight by me. That was that was actually kind of dumb on my part. Because, yeah, I, I have the crane now. I could have just picked those logs up, put them in my thing, and we would have been good to go. Uh, can I cut through? I don't want to have to drive through all that mud. Yeah, let's let's cut through here. As long as there's no buried stumps under the, uh, the snow, we should be okay. And I do mean should. Oh. <laughs> I was too busy looking at the Azov pushing us. Let's, let's let that straighten out. There we go. Ah, uh, maybe I should have just... Maybe I should have just... Gone with the truck that was a little bit higher end. But I wanted to try it. I had a I had a viewer. He commented how these vehicles were great for logging. So I thought, you know what? Why not? It, it's been a hundred episodes since we tried them, and I'm just I'm estimating that. So don't quote me on it. But uh, yeah, I figured why not? Let's let's see if they they still got the uh, the guts to to be able to do this and. I don't know, like it doesn't, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't really seem to, they don't really seem to be holding up very well, so, but we'll see. If, if I can get back and get my logs put on this one and, and not really have to worry about too much issues, in fact, I probably could leave the as off tonight. Although I'm also tempted to try going a different path. Um... Yeah, you know what? I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to leave the Azov right about here. Yeah, we'll just leave it there. It's fine. Let's, uh... Make sure it's turned off. It's, it's a little low. It's a little low on fuel. Alright, this is definitely where I'm glad I have chain tires. Not the snow yet. The uh, the icy hill that's in front of us. I don't think we would even come close if we didn't have these chains, so... Come on. You can do it, little truck. You can do it. And then, where do we go? We gotta go to the right, don't we? Wow, that was all... Yep, we gotta go this way. That bridge is out, so we have to go down this way. We'll have to come up that way, and then... So that shouldn't be too bad. Should be able to do that fairly quick. kind of realizing I could have cut all this out, but I, I secretly think you guys enjoy watching me struggle. That's that's where the real entertainment comes from. Uh, you know, I, and I have to I have to struggle either way, so I might as well film it and uh, put it out there for you guys to enjoy. Speaking of enjoyment, if you're liking this video, go ahead and please hit the uh, thumbs up and like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so because it does help out the channel. Um, and that uh, that thumbs up is the only thing in life that's uh, guaranteed to be free. So uh, 
Uh, I'm sure somebody will debate me on that, saying that, oh, well, it's not technically free because you have to use electricity to watch the video in the first place, but uh, we're going to say it's free. And uh, yeah, if you're if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because I uh, I do put out videos every every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, that consist of SnowRunner, and then I'm also currently doing uh, a Saturday Sunday videos on uh, Oxygen Not Included. So if you never checked out that game, please do so. Uh, I've got a couple, I think a, almost, a, almost a dozen episodes now. I think we're up to eight. Yeah, I think we have eight episodes, so not quite a dozen, but close. Uh, but anyways, check that out if you want to check out a pretty kind of meditation, like zen relaxing game. It's uh, it's relaxing to watch. It's stressful to play and challenging, but uh, it's also kind of stressful if you know what you're doing and you're watching somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, so you're yelling at your phone. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I I wouldn't say I'm a professional at that game, uh, but I have a pretty good pretty good foothold on the uh, the basis of it so and it it is a fun game I enjoy it and I hope that you do too so anyways uh, let's go ahead we're almost back to where we need to load up our logs so technically, we're almost there. We can uh, finally start this, uh, start the ending to this, uh, this task. Or I, I, I suppose this is a mission, isn't it? We did finish all the tasks, or at least I believe we finished all the tasks. I should probably check the list and make sure that they've all been checked off. But that I will do off camera in due time. Um, I'm glad that actually clips. Uh, <laughs> that would not have been uh, that would would have not been fun if we had to go around because the crane doesn't go underneath the signpost. And like usual, we will just do a U-turn here. It's gonna be in the snow, so it's probably going to be slow. <laughs> this truck it, it gets to the snow but it doesn't do it very quickly so um, but it does do it so we really don't want we really don't care what happens to the trailer behind us it will automatically fix itself due to its uh, simple design all right, long logs. Here we go. Time me, guys, because this is going to take forever. <laughs> I got a feeling we're going to be. Uh... Yeah, I honestly have a feeling we're not going to make it in time. We're going to have to uh, finish this on the next episode. But that's just my kind of uh, forethought, I guess. That's my estimation. I'm going to guess that we're not going to finish it. But we'll see. Maybe this, uh, maybe this truck now that that it's loaded down, uh, it may get through snow much faster. It may get through mud much faster, and it's uh, clearly will drive on ice much faster. So we'll uh, we'll have to see how we'll have to see how it does. But yeah, I can give you one of my. Uh, recommendations is is don't use the P16 outside of uh, Michigan. Uh, it doesn't. Sorry. Yeah, the P16. What am I? Thinking? Uh, it doesn't really have the the guts to do it. There's there's much better trucks. So 
but that's just my personal opinion. You don't have to listen to it, and you don't have to agree with it, so that's the, the great thing. Alright, so we gotta get this truck across this little ice dam. We are going to fall through. I think if we just take it nice and slow, we should... We should get through. Come on. Work your wheels back and forth until it gets cracked in. There we go. That's how you do that. Now hopefully... Oh, perfect. I was thinking I was going to have to downshift to uh, the low gear. Nope, not today. Not today, game. Not today. Alright, so I think... Yeah, I think we're just gonna pop up here. And... Hey, yeah, I'm gonna stick to the same path that we took. Hopefully, um... Hopefully it won't be an issue. Yep, I knew we were going to break through a little bit there. But I knew it wasn't going to be much, so... And I was right! Yay! For once in my life. So that was pretty un uneventful. <laughs> Nothing really much to say there. I guess that's a little uh, a little bit of the sounds of the game that I used to do, but uh, gonna stop doing it. Nobody really said whether or not they liked it, so I was just like, meh. I tried. One of those things. Sometimes ideas work, and other times they don't. But. And other times you just don't feel like talking, so... Alright, so let's head down here and then we'll pick up the ads off again. And that will just kind of be our, hopefully, get out of jail free card. And we can, uh... Use that truck if we end up getting stuck somewhere. Especially if we don't have a winch point. Because those, uh, those winch points are hard to come by around here so especially when you need one they're all over the place when you don't need it but when you need it and you can't get it that's when you're not going to get it so look at that wise words of the day <laughs> all right so so far not not too bad truck's done pretty nice for itself i'm gonna park it up here though and uh, hopefully this is a decent spot to put it. I'm going to get the Azov out of the way. And turn it around so we can attach the truck to the trailer. Of course, I knew I was going to hit that tree. I knew I was going to hit that tree. <laughs> Stop the engine, change trucks. Fire this one back up. Turn, turn little buddy, turn. Sounds like an episode of uh, Gilligan's Island to me. And yes, if you're if you're much younger than the age of 40, you probably won't get that reference. Uh, 
we have a lot of points to go through. Come on. Go for it. So, uh, we are dangerously low on fuel, are we not? Let's go ahead and go into low gear. Go oh, minus. Is it going to torque ahead on me? Nope. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Now. Are dangerously low on fuel. And we're not anywhere near a fuel tank. may be a problem. I'm kinda gonna go up this way. Oh, we are gonna have to send a rescue vehicle, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're gonna need a fuel truck. And you know what fuel truck we haven't used? I wanted to use. Uh, now I'm now I'm in a dilemma. I just I just thought there's a fuel trucker that we used to use, or a fuel truck that we used to use all the time, and it was great. I loved it. Uh, but I did say that if we did run out of fuel doing this logging, that I would use another fuel truck that we haven't. I believe we haven't used it in quite some time. So I think that's going to be the winner um, because yeah, we are going to be, we're, we're going to be out of fuel where we're not going to be able to even steal the gas out of the Azov and use this just to get to Imra or however you say it, Eidmindra, Eidmindra, Eidmindra. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will never learn how to pronounce it unless somebody can send me an audio file. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you do that during, uh, through, uh, not WhatsApp, um, through Discord. And, uh, yeah, let me know how to pronounce it, because that would be great. And, uh, I'm going to screw it up again anyways, but just so you know, if it wasn't your fault, it's fine. Alright, uh, we're down to 10 gallons. We've got some time to kill. I think this might be a good spot to do the refueling, so it's nice and wide. I don't think we break... Oh, good. We do break through this ice. Uh, but I don't think it's a spot that we're going to get stuck permanently, so uh, let's just go ahead and... Yeah, let's head back towards the garage. I think we're going to have to go back to Michigan, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I guarantee you we will. So let's go ahead and do that. Global map, Michigan, uh, garage entrance. I don't know if this is going to be a good, a good idea, but again, I want to try to bring back some old trucks. And, uh, well, we haven't used this truck in forever, so, uh, I think, yeah, we actually didn't have to go back to Michigan. I thought we were going to have to buy it. Uh, so let's head back to Tamar, or sorry, Kola Peninsula. We will go all the way to the garage where we have to go. And this might be instant regret as well, but. You know, you, you never know till you try, and uh, we're going to try, so let's check out the customization. Uh, we do have the biggest engine. Look at all these special gearboxes. Let's sell some of them. In fact, let's just sell all of them. Fine tune, we can't do anything with that, because that's in Wisconsin. Stock suspension, that's not surprising. Yeah, I didn't think there was change for these this uh this truck so we're gonna keep the treads or tires the way they are oh whoops 
keep screwing that up. There we go. And uh, we have a differential, but we don't have... Do we not have all-wheel drive? We do have all-wheel drive. Perfect. Ah, so this will do medium logs. This could be used for logging as well. All right, we're obviously, we need it for fuel. And there are no colors. You cannot change the colors on this truck. And that probably comes straight from uh, Caterpillar. So, and I think we're just going to go with the basic rims. We're going to keep it completely bone stock. And, uh... Yeah, there's not nothing really else we can do with it, so let's go ahead and leave the garage. And uh, yeah, let's let's go do a rescue mission. I want to see this thing go over some massive rocks. Yeah, maybe we should get it to go through some snow first, but uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, I don't have all-wheel drive on yet. <laughs> so, yeah, that would uh, definitely help there. I really, really wanted to. I could lock up the differentials, but I don't think that's necessary here. Alright, let's bounce off of these rocks. Easy does it. That's perfect. I pretty much just had the uh, accelerator mash that whole time. <laughs> Alright, so... Yes, we are going to have to be extra careful here. Just because we are doing a six-wheel drift. And we're not even on smooth ice. We're on very rough ice. So we could probably we could probably do some pretty fun donuts on the uh, the smooth ice, but that whole the whole articulated steering is uh, quite fun. <laughs> like look at me. It's like I'm power sliding at the same time, and then I'm just doing donuts. Whee! All right, <laughs> I don't want to tip over. <laughs> this is also taking a lot longer than it should. So, yeah, I'm I'm debating on if this has to end up following us. Uh, because if we haven't gotten, we haven't even gotten off of this map yet, and we've completely ran out of fuel. Now the Azov has a has a slightly different story. Um, I think if we go this way, where are we? We're here, right? Yes, yeah, so we made it all the way to there. But yeah, we definitely want to go this way and kind of work towards. Oh, work towards that blue marker. Let's go with the uh, cockpit. Uh, don't get too close to that ice. I mean, water or whatever that is. Can we get across there? We should be able to get across here. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, this is where you break through. Okay. Well, the good news is, is we didn't get stuck. But we don't have chain tires, as you can see, because we are just drifting like crazy. Nope, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. I lost it. Ah, uh, one of these days. Don't want to go into that ice. All right, so where exactly am I going? I'm going right that way. 
Let's uh, let's get off the ice. Let's stick to snow and stones, and rough roads, and all the all of the above. All right, let's go back to our cock cockpit view. I think that's what they still call it, isn't it? The cockpit view. What's the other uh, what's the other term for this? View? In cab. That just seems that just seems a little strange. You know what? I'm gonna do it. We're in a big old snow cat. We're gonna go up and over this mountain, and we're not gonna look back. Not even gonna go into third person view. I just I have absolutely all the faith in the world right now that this truck can get through any of this. And we can just go up and over versus going on roads and trails. And maybe we'll throw the diff lock on. Just to help with the snow. Where do we go from here? There's a trail there. I don't think any of these trees can stop us except for the big hard deadwood ones. Yeah, I know. We're good. We're golden. Shall we try it? I'm pretty sure this is uh, ice we can drive on. Oh, whatever. There. Sometimes I, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the differential uh, warning system or whatever you want to call it. Like it just. I'm on ice, I should be able to have a differential on. I'm not, I don't have binding going on. Um, and I shouldn't really have overheating, but maybe that's what they consider. Uh, do, 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 refuel, that's what we want to do. So yeah, we want to refuel the as off. And then we can't do Okay, let's move up so we can un or so we can fuel, not unload. We're gonna make it look like the uh, Azov or the uh, cat got stuck there. Refuel source is the fuel carrier. Yep, we've got our 93 gallons back in that thing. We are going to stop this engine and. Yeah, let's switch to the P12. Fire that up. Um, attach the winch. And we're going to take off. We're just going to slowly take off. Oh yeah, we should probably turn on the as off. That should give us a little bump. Come on. Oh, no, no. Yes, you just straight up went and decided to not hit the back of the trailer. And you kind of wanted to pass us. Am I going the right way? Um. What? What was I doing? I'm going to have to go left. I don't know where I thought I had to come up this hill. Because I shouldn't have. Everyone kind of already knows that this trail is not... going to go through here very easily. I don't even see a trail through here.
Where was I going? There's no trail through there. What? Okay, why am I stuck? As off, you're gonna have to come behind me. Yeah, I have I have no way of turning. Alright, first of all, let's go to morning so I can see. Uh there's kind of a trail through here. I don't know if we can sneak through here. Maybe? We can squeeze between these two trees. Might be okay. This was a, uh... This was not good from the beginning. Slightly stuck. I'm not gonna lie. Let's try going this way. Can I get. I need to get the front of the truck to turn. The only way I can do that is with the thing. And yeah, we're way over here. Opposite side I want to be on. Did I just go through all these? That should work. And then let's attach the back of the trailer. And... Say probably this one. Oh, nope, we are, uh, we are rightfully stuck. <laughs> Problem is, is this pine tree right here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, I don't know how we just got through there. I was, I was about to. Uh, now I'm getting stuck on a pile of wood. Uh, I was about to, to throw in the, the shoe there, or whatever that saying is. Throw in the towel. There we go. Now the Azov is stuck. Um, but I think I'm going to forge on without it. In fact, the, the cat and the Azov are both back there. I don't know where they said there was a trail there. I did not see a single, even for a scout trail. I didn't see a trail. Um, now we got to be careful again because we're getting into snowdrift area.
and this is some deep, deep snow. Let's just rip whatever we can out. Oh, there's a big tree right there that you can easily connect to. It's called a telephone pole. Thank you. Hmm. Sometimes I swear. All right. Um. Fit there, are we? Well, that tree's definitely not big enough. Oh. All right, let's try to back out. We gotta go this way. Why is it not? Thank you. That's the one tree I wanted. That was it. That's all the only tree I wanted the entire time. Gotta slowly pass this telephone pole. There we go. Should get us past now. We just gotta thread the needle again and get on to this path here. And then we can be in Idrama. <laughs> However, you say. I, I, Madrid, Edmundra, Ed, yeah, I, Mad, Imadrid. Can't be Imadrid. Anyways, you guys are probably getting annoyed at me not pronouncing it correctly. And it's probably so simple. The second I hear it, I'll be like, yeah, that's what it is. But unfortunately, can't really uh, can't really pronounce it so uh, but yeah we've got pretty much just some ice roads to cover uh, shouldn't be too hard we should be able to get there and we're I, I was kind of correct I didn't want to be correct but uh, it looks like we're gonna end the episode once we get to uh, Mandra I bet you the eyes silent because Mandra just scrolls off the ton so much easier Instead of Idmadra, Idmadra. I bet you it's Mandra. Maybe I should ask Alexa. Yeah, I was. I, I was uh, honestly. I was expecting it to, to say something <laughs> when I said that. But yeah, I could. I could spell it out to Alexa, and then. She'll uh, tell me how she would uh, pronounce it, even though it's a computer. I use the term she like. I mean, one of my friend's kid is actually named Alexa before Alexa. So she's, I think she's 16 now. She was named that before the Amazon device and it has kind of become a thorn in her side, but, um, hi Alexa, if you're watching, which I know you're not because you're 16 and you have better things to do, uh, like school. All right. So there's, there's the path we took to get here. Uh, and apparently I was told that the garage is over here somewhere. So we're going to, we're going to go to that after we drop all this off. 
I think what we're gonna do... I mean, we could cut down, instead of going around this way and going to this canyon jump, supposedly you can just go through here. This is easy to cross. And then you can cross here. Versus having to... I guess what? Drive all the way down? Because that doesn't look like it's opened. So either way, we're going to uh, have to come up this way anyway, so... Anywho, let's, uh, let's end the episode there. The truck is out here all by itself. Maybe we'll have to get... The, we'll probably have to get the cat out here. Um, or... There are the Azov or the Zika. Those... Either one of those vehicles could easily come to the rescue. Back, let's let's look. Yeah, we should be able to uh, bring a fuel trailer along. Yeah, look at that. Look how much fun that is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We will uh, switch back to the P12 so I remember where we're going on the the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit of a, uh, a struggle for us, but uh, eventually we got through. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.